The question is whether NaBr, sodium bromide, is ionic or covalent. In short, it's ionic. And there's a few ways that we can tell. The first one is to look at the makeup, the elements that make up NaBr. Sodium, that's a metal. Bromine, that's a nonmetal. In general, when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. So that's the first way. So the other way is to look at the differences in the electronegativities of each of these elements here. If we have a difference greater than 2, that's going to be ionic. So we have this chart here to explain the differences. So let's take a look at the periodic table here with electronegativity differences. So as we look at the periodic table, we can see sodium has an electronegativity value of 0 0.93. Bromine has an electronegativity value of 2.96. If we look at the difference between these two numbers, it's 2.03. So 2.03, that is greater than 2.0. So NaBr is considered to be an ionic compound. In an ionic compound, the valence electron on the sodium will be transferred to the bromine, and that'll form the ionic bond. This is Dr. B figuring out whether NaBr, sodium bromide, is ionic or covalent, and thanks for watching.